You're watching Minute Law with me, Maria Spear Alice of Spear IP. So what is trade dress and how does it apply to the fashion industry, aside from the fact that it has the word dress in it? Trade dress protection is a lot like trademark protection, uh, but instead of a word or a logo kind of indicating the source of a product, it is a color or a unique design that indicates the source of the product. The Tiffany's box is a classic example of trade dress protection. Everybody knows when they see that little blue box with the little white bow where the contents of that box came from. Christian Louboutin uh, actually had to fight a little bit for protection in its red sole that it uses on shoes. It essentially came down to is a, is a red sole source identifying, quote unquote, when it's on a red shoe? Not really. It's kind of not special. Um, it doesn't make you think of a certain brand if you were to see a red shoe with a red sole. But if it weren't a red shoe uh, and you saw that red sole, yeah, a lot of people would think of Christian Louboutin. And he had to kind of present evidence of how long he's been using it, um, different places in the media where it's mentioned as his trademark thing that he uh, has that red sole. Um, so that's another example of trade dress. Birkin also has trade dress protection on the design of some of its bags. The catch with trade dress is that it's usually not immediate. In other words, your customers usually don't automatically, you know, as soon as you launch your brand, associate your brand with a specific color or unique um, design like a red sole shoe. Usually when you apply for trade dress protection, you have to provide evidence that your your thing, if it's color or whatever it is, um, does function as a source identifier, kind of like how Louboutin presented evidence of, you know, media media mentions where the red sole has been talked about as his trademark thing. So I hope that helps you understand a little bit about trade dress protection and how it applies to the fashion industry. And I'll see you next time.